this is Dina. Welcome to my channel, y'all. I am back to show you my room after I rearranged it and try to organize it. I just threw away two more trash bags of stuff. And oh my goodness, I didn't even sort through the drawers. That's a whole nother day. So anyway, let's just go right on in. Now over here, I have kept my tower of all my open bin papers. As you see here, all my open bin papers is still there. I still keep my six by six and six by eight stuff sitting on top here. That's another day as well. But let me just do a little quick overview. I didn't change a lot of the decor on my walls, um, but I did change a little bit, added my sewing machine over there, took down some banners. Haven't finished putting all what I want up here but I need to get some command strips so I can hang it up. But this is an overview of my craft room. This desk over here used to be on this wall and my sewing machine used to be on the end. So let's just start right over here. Um, let's just start over here. Okay, as you know, these are my open bin papers. Um, I've got a whole bunch. They need to be sorted again by color. Just haven't had the time to do that. And then I also have my printer up there. I keep like my Cricut 12 by 12 mats here. I keep glitter paper. I keep my mink stuff here and some more solid papers and so forth. I have my radio my record player, and just stuff that I've accumulated that I probably could put somewhere else. Got my TV remotes and stuff. Got my Cricut Explore Air 2 and my Cricut Joy. I keep it in the case when I'm not using it. These are all my open bin papers or my paper pads, paper collections, and I keep um, eight and a half by 11s all here. So over here, I just put mini albums I have made. Haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them yet. Right here, y'all, I found a whole stack of like the five by seven notebooks and the, I don't know what size these are. All these like this that I got at Walmart. <laughs> I have a whole stack of them. So I just stacked them there so maybe I'll start using them. These drawers right here, they used to be on the other, by my pink wall, and I moved them over here, and I have to say, I like them so much better there. I really, really do. Um, they need to be organized. Organizing a craft room is a lot of work. At the top, I keep acetates. These are just like ephemeras and stickers. Just random things more stickers and things like that. Happy planner stuff, paints. Go over here, I got washi. All at the bottom uh, down here, I've got all my, I've got three drawers full of vinyl. Just random things. This is stuff for my letter boards and wood stuff up here. Okay, up here on the top, I just love little boxes and I don't have the heart to throw them away. Um, I did just mail something out and I didn't need it a box and so I had another one of these. So I was able to package it in that cute little box and I mailed it off today. Got my pink lamp, got it at Target years ago. Got mailing stuff and got my glitters. I put my mailing stuff over here as well. I have my large Cricut here. more mini albums. I've got my Ott lamp right here. Now this table used to be all the way at the end over here and I didn't sew as much on it because it was always in the corner and because of my shelf there I didn't have a lot of room. So I thought you know what I was going to put this under my TV but then I decided, no, I think it'll be better. That's so much to move. I think it'll be better. I'll just put this here. And I've already sold a bowl, sewed a bowl koozie for my brother this morning because he wants me to make him some larger ones. So having my sewing machine here is great. Um, as far as a chair, I just drag my chair back and forth. It's one less thing I have to have in here. 
Um, I threw away my wooden cutting cutting mat or ironing mat that I have, and I'm just going to keep this one next to my next to my sewing machine. I have my my uh, Oliso um, iron that I got on Amazon. Got my cute little flamingo um, birthday cup that I got from my swap partner Amy. I just keep in this mug. I just keep my sewing scissors, my rotary cutter. Over here, I have just like some random pins because I have a lot more in my drawer. This mat right here, I've had someone ask me about this. This was actually some tea towels that someone sent me and I sewed them together and made it into a mat. There's my sewing machine. Now, my sewing machine is a single modern quilter. I've had it about five years. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. Um, but it is a workhorse. It really is. You really don't even have to oil it or anything. All you do, I need to clean out the lints and everything like that before I start my next sewing project. But it's a workhorse. So, it can quilt. It's a quilting machine and it also has a long ta table that goes with it. But I never use it. I just use the short one. And then up here on my wall, I still have eat, sleep, craft, repeat. One day I'll change those. And then I have my bulletin board that I got at Ikea. And I just keep random stuff on it. Got to have my flamingo as lookout. So just random stuff I keep up here. I have my letter thing. Plus I have my, my stocking pattern. I didn't want to lose it. Up at the top, I have... Sewing is my therapy. I got that at, yesterday at Hobby Lobby. And I have my Happy Place sign that I got at Hobby Lobby. Most everything I get at Hobby Lobby. Let me go over here. I have a Hello that's up here. Along with the little strands of lights. I'd never turn them on, but I think they're pretty. Um, but I think I got that Hello at Hobby Lobby too. And I painted it a long time ago. So this is this end. Got my trash can, fills up fast in this room. Over here, I just have at the bottom, over here at the bottom here, I have all my memory decks as I keep them in there. Um, just because I had so many and having different little memory decks trays was just too much for me. So I keep them all in there. I have my pink ribbons and stuff like that. I have two, no, I have three drawers over in my white, um, um, Alex, um, shelves or cases over there. I have those full of ribbon, but I mainly use the pinks and stuff, so I keep them accessible. The top one right there is all kind of like ephemera pieces, rosettes I've made and things like that, so I can just grab it when I need it, and the top is just like cut aparts and stuff. I always kept my laminator on my desk, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I don't use it that much. So for right now, it's just going to sit right there. Got my mink machine still. I keep it in the box for when I'm not using it. And then these are all like beads and flowers and dyes and stamps. I got stamps here. Glitter stuff. Sequins. I got this cabinet. Got more stamp set. Paper clips. So I got this whole thing. I got it, I don't know, about a year or two ago at Hobby Lobby. And they still have them. I probably paid about $130 for it. And it's, I love the way it looks and it worked out great. So they still have them. I saw some yesterday at their store. Up here on the top, I have my little thing. I was going to get rid of that, but I have so many pins that are still good. I can't throw them away. So anyway, I'll just keep it. Got my sweet flamingo someone sent me. And got more ephemera pieces up there. Got my beads and sequin mixes up there. Now over here on my table, this is the table I got at Ikea. Let me move my, table, my chair out. So here you can see this is my table. So it was super easy for me to move it. All I do is move the cabinets over and lift up the base and uh, the tabletop and move it. They're not attached. They just sit on top of each other. So it's great. So anyway, on these over here, I keep like sewing stuff. And I won't go through all these drawers. But I have sewing stuff in there. I did put my big Fiskars cutter over here. I don't use it often, but I thought maybe if I have it out closer to me, I'll be more apt to use it. Of course, you got Flo. Oh my goodness, Flo, you're, 
you got to keep your pearls on straight, Flo. So anyway, that's Flo. Made her a long time ago. She's still a part of my room. I put out my Big Shot because I don't want to have to store it up on the shelf. I use it quite a bit, and I'm just going to keep it close. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep my dies closed. And that way I have it. This is papers that I am presently working with. I have a big 36 by 24 mat over here and I will just remove everything off when I need to cut fabric and um, I think it'll work out great. Oh, and also too, my rulers that I use to cut fabric with, I just hung them up. I have three rulers that I use and I just hung them up there on the wall. And then I'm just gonna, for now, use this little mat here that I got and I don't really realize, I think I got it at Walmart. But I'm going to use it for now because I want to get a new mat. I'm not going to use that pink one anymore. I use this all the time. Put my cell phone holder or cell phone on. Got my tape. And this right here, this, this Create, this Ray Dunn. Um, well, I use it as pen, pen collections and all that. But um, you can use it for anything. Um, but yeah, I got that at Home Goods, And I just put all the pens and pencils that I use more often. Got my two tags that I'm presently working on on my tag book. I got my drops that I got from scrapbook.com. These are pops of color. So I keep them right there. Keep my glues close all the time. I keep these bowls close because I put things in them. I also have the other one and here it is. It's got my sequin mixes. And these I might be using on my tag flip. These are chipboard tags that I got from Hobby Lobby. And over here I have all my like ephemeras, um, all my things like this, all my stickers. I put them all right here in my big pink basket. I got these pink baskets probably about four or five years ago at Target. I don't know if they still sell them, but they work great for this. Okay, so in right here, I keep all my dies, and I have it in another one of these pink baskets, and they fit perfectly standing up. This one's just over here because it's bigger, um, but yeah, I have them all, all in here. I need to and get some more magnet sheets, and I need to go back through and kind of organize them a little bit, but I think that's a great place to keep them. Got my hot glue gun over here. These are my four, four or five memory dexes that I've recently made. On the top, I keep, whoops, I have a candy bar from, from Pia. Uh, but I keep my, my scissors, my stapler, and different things like that over here at the top. And, like, here is my adhesive drawers and so forth. Now, my cat, my little cart, I used to have it loaded up, and I used to keep my dies on top of the shelf, and I moved it onto the table now that I've made room, <laughs> And um, so now I'm just going to keep like my cards that I make and envelopes and stuff that I use more often. I have more in my, in my drawers or in my closet. And then I have some Heidi Swap stuff in here and some ribbon and just random things on the bottom. But I thought that would be a great place to keep it. Keep it close. And that's it. Still up here at the top, got my flamingo picture that I got from a swap, and they're beautiful. Love it. And here, still got my clock. Anyway, this is my room. This is what it's looking like. I still have, oops, I'm going to go over here, y'all. I still have this one I'm going to put up on my wall. I have a cute little wreath. And I still have my kindness is always beautiful. But I have to get some command strips for that. So I don't want to do it until I got my command strips. Because mostly the kindness one is pretty is pretty heavy. So anyway. I also wanted to show this before I go. I keep this crate underneath my desk. And I have it divided by colors. And like I have like scraps of chipboard in there. And I have just scraps of paper. Y'all this used to be a mound of paper. And I got rid of it. I just kept like the black and some white and some of the pink and all that. And the rest of it, I got rid of it because I was never using it. It was scraps. So I keep my scraps just like right there. It's under my desk, right where I can get to them. 
these two little things right here, they're just full of ephemeras and stickers and things like that. And over here is I have a basket of ribbon. That ribbon needs to be fixed. <laughs> And then I always keep my cutters and my scoreboard right under my desk. So that way then when I'm working, I just reach down and get it. Y'all, this is my room. I worked yesterday and all morning today. And this is my room. It's pretty comfortable. I come in here. Sometimes I turn on music. Sometimes I turn on my TV. I don't like the wires there, but you know, they are what they are. And um, yeah, I have already pulled out tons of my 12 by 12s that I don't use anymore. And I might come with a D stash. I just had to figure out the postage for them. But anyway, it's as, it's about as good as I'm going to get it. And it's a hundred times better. Believe me. Oh my goodness. It's so much better. I love this over here as my one craft space and this having my Sewing machine separate is just awesome. Anyway, yes, I'm sitting in my chair now, but there we go. This is my room. And the reason I bought the, the girl without freckles is like a night without stars because I have freckles and I saw that and I thought it'd be perfect. So anyway, I am gonna add a little bit more up on the wall. Um, gotta get those command strips and then I will get those hung and I think it'll be pretty. This really showcased my beautiful pink wall. And um, yeah, I love it. I love it so much. And I love having this much space. Now it's time for me to get busy. I need to do my next tag video. And um, yeah, here we go. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna work out much better, much better. I've thought about getting another one of these too. If I do, I'll put it right there and just move that little table over just a little bit. It'll give me more space. Anyway, that's it y'all. Hope you guys like this. I hope you, um, if you're cleaning out your craft room, hope you're working out. I know it's hard. I finished up with a backache yesterday because it's a lot of work. But anyway, there we go y'all. That's it. That's it. Um, and now I still have to organize my closet again. It just gets so cluttered. I keep shred fabrics, everything in my closet. But now I need to go through and see what I want and see what I don't. So I hope you guys have an awesome Saturday and uh, get some crafting done. Spend some time with your family. Get some things done and not have to worry about the hustle and bustle of the week. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed and you're interested, please hit that subscribe button. And um, I'd love to have you. And yeah, that's it, y'all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And as always, I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.